We're back, and we got the key door. So, fun fact about um, items underwater, you'll continuously swim upward, so you have to... You have to press down to swim underwater when you're holding an item. Really? Yep. Why is that a thing? I don't know. Anyway, welcome to our first ghost house. Welcome to our first nut house. I don't recall if this is the first meeting of the booze or not. I think no. I think we had booze in Mario, th Mario 3. They follow the logic of uh, if you look at them, then... They won't move. Otherwise, they're walking the park. <laughs> I think every boo house has an alternate pathway. So, feel free to let your your explored minds explore. And then collect those. Uh, or I could just die. That's cool. I. <laughs> oh man, I keep remembering details from that sick dream I had last night. It was an awesome dream. <laughs> well, would you care to share with the viewers what your awesome dream was? If you uh, care. <laughs> I had the powers to turn into a wolf and to like shrink or make myself bigger. But I guess at some point in my dream, whatever I was doing, something went like really wrong. So I got so upset that my powers didn't work anymore. And um, I involuntary turn involuntarily turned back into a wolf and started like killing people and like the government was trying to kill me <clears throat> and um so i killed all the soldiers and then um they're like don't let her get in the water supply because apparently if i spat in the water supply or like got my dna or whatever in the water supply um <clears throat> it would basically infect everyone with whatever I had, and they, they would turn into wolves too. So I got in the water supply, and, um... Oh, what's going on? Boss fight! Kind of. But then, like, after I got into the water, uh, I, I, like, turned back into a human. And whatever person gave me the ability to turn into a wolf, was like, shit, I fucked up, but there's really no escaping what's going to happen now. And they're like, well, is there any way I can make it up to you? And I was like, well, it'll turn me into something harmless, like... A bunny. Like a bunny. And they're like, okay. And then they tried to turn me into a cockroach. And I'm like, no, a bunny. And then they tried to turn me into a salad. And I'm like, no, a hey, bunny. Hey, a salad's pretty harmless. A salad is pretty harmless and somewhat good for you. But, uh... <laughs> But yeah, that was my kick-ass dream, and I just remembered, like, like, the, the sight of running down one of the alleyways trying to get away from the soldiers. It was a pretty awesome dream. So, um, anyways, that was a secret exit from the, from the boo house. Now I'm gonna go back in here and get the normal exit, because I can get a different... It yields a different result. So, behold the fruits of my, of my switch. I know what you were going to say. What? Um, you were going to say the fruits of your dick. I was, actually. I know. You know me way too well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that gets us a nice little secret. That takes us to that pipe, but it's actually going to take us to a, um, Ooh. another area. Also, that's World 7, that's Bowser. Hi, Bowser. Yeah. If I can get through the, uh... If I can get through the Star World nice and quick, like, then, um... Fuck. If I can get through the Star World nice and easy, then I could go and fight Bowser, like... Right now? Well, within, like, three parts, but I'm not gonna do that. Because I said I was going to 100% this game. Also, this level is ice physics, and they suck. And I'm paying no heed to... Paying no heed to safety. Just... Danger away. <laughs> but you know what? The level's done, so you know, fuck it. <laughs> but fuck it. Mm -hmm. Oh, another thing that I didn't explain, um, with items you probably saw back there, I, um... 
busted out a mushroom before I got the item box is um if you have yeah it's taking me all the way to Donut Plains 3 we'll come back there though but when you have like a mushroom or something and then you get like a fire flower or a cape or something mm -hmm. it'll automatically put a mushroom in your inventory okay yeah so that way like when you get hit you'll go to small Mario but also we're back in this level for the third time yeah, when you um, just turn back into small Mario, it'll automatically activate your mushroom. So you can go straight back to being big Mario. So if I can maintain my bigness when I get another item, I'll show you what I mean. I like the music in this level. It's pretty nice music. This game has a lot of... Um... Oh yeah, look here. So I get the fire flower, it puts mm -hmm. a mushroom in my inventory. Okay. Yeah. So this game's kind of forgiving in that regard. Don't need to get that now. I mean, the levels themselves can be kind of on the hard side, but... At I least mean, it's a forgiving game. Yeah, this game is pretty forgiving. Unlike, uh... Another platformer that I just played recently. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jack and Daxter. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Those games are not forgiving. No, they're... Well, okay. The first one is pretty forgiving. The second one The is... second and third... No, the second one is brutal. And the third one is a little more forgiving, but still kind of just like... Ugh. Like, the second one is nearly impossible. Oh, my God. It would be impossible for me. It was nearly impossible for him. Yeah. Like, just... It, it was... It was kind of sad to watch. Yeah. So I need to come back here after I get a cape. I'm just gonna hit this, go in here. Oh yeah, this is a neat little thing that you can do, but I don't care. Um, it's a block that when you hit it, it um sends it sends um coins in a random direction, and depending on what you press on the control on the control pad. You can... Okay, I think this one is the... Yep, yeah, there it is. When you press a button on the control pad, it'll shoot it in a random direction, and then when the timer stops, um, the blocks will turn... The coins will turn into blocks, and you can walk on them. So you can use them as, like, you know, makeshift stairs. So now I'm gonna go back to that level with the cape. Now this takes me back to Donut, Pl Donut Plains 3 the normal way, but cape first. Do -do -do -do. This game can be kind of simple if you know what you're doing. Alright, got my cape. Got your cape? <laughs> Hand me my cloak. And my staff. And my horn. And that thermos of soup. Because I'm hungry and also thirsty, and you can kind of, you know, eat and drink soup at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, if you go up there, um, run past the <laughs> door <laughs> here. <laughs> also, uh, free lives. Assuming the booze don't fuck you over. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna go right for the exit. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. You are really close to me. Yeah, you were super close to me earlier. Yeah, I was. But check this out. Top secret area. You know what this is? Yoshi. A free Yoshi, as well as free fire flowers and free capes. This area is a go-to if you're 100%ing this game. Nice way to stock up on items. You're nice. To me. At least. Well, I'm glad. So let's go to Donut Plains 3. Oh, yeah, another cape. Let's see. Do I ride with, Do I ride Yoshi to the end and play this little fair? Or... Well, I don't have enough room to use the cape anyway. <laughs> but I don't need to when I have Yoshi with blue shell. So, Yoshi, whenever he eats a blue shell, he sprouts wings, and he can fly, kind of akin to the cape. 
However, he only has it for a limited amount of time, so, um... Get as far as you can. Yep. And then just, uh, hover your way down. I thought I was screwed for a second. <laughs> oh, damn it. These, uh, games are kind of cool. Because you get five floors, you hit all the correct blocks in a row, and you get a life. Nice. Mm -hmm. I just happen to get lucky with two of those. Oh! This fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this game introduced fuzzies. Those fuckers, they ride on rails, and, you know, they just hurt you like a normal enemy. They're a pain in the ass in the Paper Mario series. Oh, minigame time again. Okay. Okay, one, two, three lives. Oh, four lives. Dang. If you just have a consistent rhythm, you can get, like, all the same item on these. It's nice. kind of easy. All right, Donut Place 4. You know what else is easy? Um... Mathematics to a certain degree. Yeah, if you're like in third grade. Yeah. Okay, what the fuck, pipe? <laughs> I don't need these boner ass pipes <laughs> fucking up my. That was supposed to be a hammer, bro. They were made a lot easier in this game. No reason, boner. Oh, Yoshi can jump on piranha plants! So. That's a. Uh... I think there's one of the special levels that's dedicated to that. To piranha plants? No, to Yoshi being able to jump on piranha plants. Oh damn it, I didn't want the fire. So that's the first uh that's the first exposure we get to Goombas in this game, but they're not actually Goombas. With a kind of Goombas? They're called chestnut Goombas. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You're a weirdo. That was a song from like I, a... I know! You told me about it. It was like from a kid thing. G like, same thing with fucking Gray Squirrel. <laughs> gray Squirrel, Gray Squirrel, shake your bushy tail. <laughs> gray Squirrel, Gray Squirrel, shake your bushy tail. <laughs> Crinkle up your little nose. Morton's Castle! Crack a nut between your toes. Yoshi can't go in castles. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, shake your bushy tail. Yes, Yoshi can't go in castles or in um, ghost houses. Okay, I'm done. Thwimps! Thwomp! Uh, okay, uh, I walked into that one. Stop walking into shit. I have a bad habit of doing that. I think this is the first uh, game. To, this is the first game to introduce thwomps. Potobos are back in high form. Should probably use my, uh... Oh, hi, Dry Bones. Oreo Dry Bones speech. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah. Whoa, what part of Mario Party is this? <laughs> yeah. Dry Bones, um... You can stomp on them, but they'll regenerate. Fire does nothing, but if you hit them with the cape, they'll die. Because the cape is OP. Cape seriously is like the best, the best item. Well, Luigi is the best character. I'm just gonna leave that there. I like the noise that the brain. brain. Okay, I'm sorry. Every time I play this game, I keep thinking of the Nico Nico Duga video. Have you? S Fuck! I'm dead. <laughs> I just squished you. <clears throat> um, Have you seen the Nico Nico Duga, um, like, auto Mario? No. Oh my god, okay, I need to show you that okay. after I finish <laughs> this. That level? Yeah. Okay, can I activate that? Did you see Mario's fucking scurry down the stairs? <laughs> just... <laughs> okay, I love Mr. Thwomp. Me. These guys changed designs so drastically between this game and Super Mario 64. Yeah? Yeah. Because, like, in this game, they've got spikes on them, and they're gray, and they're menacing-looking. 
And in Super Mario 64, there's fucking blue squares that go, Urgh! And for a while, Tom would have thought that was hilarious. And I still think it's hilarious. Well, yeah, because it is. Cape, yay! Genius. I should take my sweet time in here. Yeah, you probably should. Fuck it. <laughs> Being rash is awesome. I am a plumber. I'm also wearing overalls. My brother. Hey, hey Jed. What? What kind of overalls does Mario wear? Denim, denim, denim. <laughs> I think I told that joke before. I know. Hold on, what was the... There's a joke that, that you tell that I really like. Um, it's like one of the ones you tell a lot. That doesn't help. <laughs> I tell a lot of jokes a lot. Oh, oh god, oh god. That thing just came out of nowhere. Oh, I wish I could... Which one is it? I don't know, immediately my voice thinks of the no voice. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not a joke. That's like an, that's like a, a personal meme. A personal. <laughs> Fighting Morton Koopa. Looks a lot worse now than he ever did. He gets all tubby when you jump on him. Yep. Fuck no. I wanted to hit you, you fucking piece of Koopaling shit. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess you don't. I guess you don't want to play by the rules, huh? There we go. He's down. That went a lot worse than it should have. Two castles. You know, two castles down. It might be the one about the birds. The Peter, get your. <laughs> oh, yeah, Peter. T yeah, Peter, put down your beads. Our prayers have finally been answered. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I feel like I should tell that joke on the next exciting episode of Get Equipped with Gaming. Oh, yeah, yeah. Next <laughs> but, episode. Joke yeah. time. But first off, Morton Jr. Koopa is now just a memory. We killed him. And his castle. But now we're going to Vanilla Dome. Alright. See you guys at Vanilla Dome. See you guys at Vanilla Dome.